Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel and thank you to all of the very brand new subscribers who have subscribed to me over the past week. Now this is the fourth painting that I have challenged myself and we're going to stay on the same theme of landscapes, landscapes which are the passion of painting for me. Um, my palettes are still alive from the previous painting. What I tend to do with my palettes as a little tip for everybody is um, I have these glass plates. Some people use cling film over the top of their palettes but when I, when I finish painting what I tend to do is give them a little spray of water just to keep them quite moist. I know that they're all they're all on a wet palette that I've, I've I have a wet palette um, video if you want to have a little look at that. I'll put the link below. And I just literally put these glass plates on top of my palettes. They're only placement plates. And believe me, just that itself keeps them lovely and moist for about three days. It's perfect, and what it do it'll do is it'll it, it'll give a con you know a consistency of palette and color in all of the work that I'm doing in the five paintings. Okay, so just leave them like that for a minute because what I am going to do today is I am going to start with the with the sky as I always do, and um, this is this is the image I've chosen to do. I'm not quite sure if you can see that, but as you can see from that image. There's a lot of fluffy white clouds, and in the last um, in the last sky that I did, which was this one, I struggled to get that white back because I didn't use masking fluid in that last painting. So I'm going to do that today. So let's crack on. Get me masking fluid down. Get me palettes out, and get into the zone. So come with me if you're going to do yours, or just watch and enjoy. So speak to you soon. So I'm not sure whether you can see here, I've done a very, very light pencil sketch of the image that I've got above and I've added the masking fluid. So what I generally do is I, I do a grid over the image and I have done grid um, YouTube in some of the videos below. Um, and then I do a little sketch. So now I'm at the stage where I'm going to do the painting. Stage one is almost done. As I always say, at the end I will touch up the sky again. So I've worked on the sky and the clouds and the reflection in the lake. I've put on the mask and fluid and I've taken the mask and fluid off. Um, the trick is is to try and blend the the lake reflection um, and match it if we can reflect it. Okay, so now I'm ready to get my green palette together and do the land. Speak to you soon.
reflection in. I want to make sure that I'm happy with the the mountains in the background with the texture and make sure that it looks like it's got that three dimensional form that it needs to have before I go down because I, I'm, I'm feeling like it, it looks still looks a little bit flat. If you're doing anything like this and copying a landscape that you really love, don't worry too much about it looking exactly the same. Because as I've said before, if I was there, if I was sitting there looking at it, the light would be changing, the sun direction would be changing. So at the end of the day, it's your impression of that landscape at that time. finished it took me forever this one I don't know why it's it's taken me so long um I kept standing back and then looking at it and then standing back and looking at it and needing to lighten areas up and there's quite a lot of depth going on with the the mountains in the background and the sky and then we've got this foliage all these trees and then we've got the, the reflection and then we've got the foreground this bit this bit was dead easy um, and the reflection wasn't too hard either when you're using a nice um, kind of wet paintbrush to, to soften the reflection that was quite easy and um, this took me forever the mountains in the background uh, because you can't quite see what's going on nevertheless it's finished so number four is finally done I've got one more to go before I might change the theme um, but I'm loving it loving doing this um, so thanks for subscribing, all the new subscribers. Welcome to Faye and Art. And um, please, if you if you're enjoying this, subscribe, write a comment. I'll answer if I can all the comments that you put on on my um, channel. And so until next time, hope you enjoyed this one, and see you again soon. Bye now. <laughs>